Having graduated from the Kintampo College of Health and followed all due processes to attain their certification from the Medical and Dental Council, the physician assistants say they are surprised by the unconcerned posture of government towards addressing their concerns. The angry physician assistants dressed in their white lab coats wielded placards with various inscriptions to drum home their concerns. The group threatened not to leave the premises of the ministry until they are given a favorable response. But after handing over a petition to a deputy minister of health, they rescinded their decision and gave government a one-month ultimatum for their concerns to be addressed. We will give him a few days. And when I say a few days, a few days. So that um, when we call on him and we have seen a positive result, then we will take it from there. If you have not seen any positive result, we'll be back. Yeah, by the end of November, we should get our posting. If November has ended and we have still not had our posting, we'll come back. And the unemployed physician assistants say they find it disturbing that they have not received postings just like graduates from other departments of the college. From March till now, they've posted three other groups. So you cannot tell us that our list is administrative for now, whilst other new groups come and they get posted. Even some people who completed in June this year have been posted. And we completed in 2016. So you can't tell me my, my, my list or my name is a minister of finance awaiting clearance. Why somebody completes and you post the person? Despite government's failure to post them three years after graduation, the physician assistants say they have routinely been renewing their license as required and the cost has compounded their woes. It's, it's supposed to cost you from 500 to 1,000 cities. That is, you need at least three CPDs with at least 10, uh, 10 minimum points. And then it will cost you from 500 cities to 2,000 cities. And then on top of that, you also have to renew your license. 300 cities every, every year. So if I'm not posted, where do I get the money from? So you, 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 you get what, what we are going through. We renew our license every year. We are supposed to do a continuous um, professional um, um, development um, workshops that um, helps us uh, renew our license. And every time we attend, they, we, we are supposed to pay, register. Sometimes we pay 200, 150 Ghana cities, and it's all money. If we are not working, where are we getting the money to be paying all this? So once you are not unable to do, it means you can't renew your licenses. So if you are later posted and you don't have licenses, what are you still going to work with? So it's a big deal for us. The Ministry of Health has assured the group that plans are far advanced to finalize their postings. At the first blush, let me uh, assure you that uh, we have already had discussions with the Ministry of Finance uh, to deal with your issues. Don't be agitated. The point is that what we are dealing with uh, is a whole big issue. Yours is only a portion of it, if I should put it that way. The angry unemployed physician assistants have taken the words of the minister and they say if they don't hear any good response by the end of next month, they will return to the premises of the Ministry of Health to pick it again. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajeman.